is a funeral pyre. It's for the death of winter. And we are happy to see it now. Every year, towards the end of winter, beginning of spring, the day changes every year because we just wait for a nice day where it's at least like 50 degrees out and we can enjoy being outside. Uh, we boil off our maple sap. We get a big fire going. We get our uh, sap boiling container contraption. You'll see what we use. And uh, we just spend the whole day outside. The kids bike ride and shoot their bows and play. And I tend the fire, watch the sap. It's a really nice way to just enjoy being outside for the first time in a long time because it's comfortable out. There's a nice fire you can warm up by. A lot of times we'll cook over the fire. And uh, this is our last sap day here at our farm here, here at our uh, homestead. Uh, so we're gonna just enjoy this day being outside together and uh, boil off some sap and uh, we'll see how it does. If you want to see how to actually boil off sap, I explain it a lot more in this video. You can see all the details uh, and what we do. Uh, today we're just going to have fun and just boil it off together. This is what we boil our sap in every year. My uh, father-in-law is a welding metal fabricator and uh, he built this for us. When you're boiling off sap, you want something with a lot of surface area. So a long rectangle is better. I said that funny. <laughs> a, a long rectangle is much better than like a tall pot. So we have a nice stainless steel, long uh, evaporator essentially is what we're using it for. Uh, we also use this, we used it to scald pigs in the past and things. Uh, but just make sure whatever you're using, you wanna use like a roasting dish, something that's really long and gives you more surface area for the evaporation to take place. I'm just gonna clean it off and then we're gonna put the sap in it and start boiling. Bacon cooked right over a fire. Oh man. It's just perfect. He thinks so. In the box of cutting all dirty. See, Daddy? So good. It really does take all day, this stuff. When you do it like this, at least. We do it, you know, we just do it over an open fire. It would work quicker if you did it over uh, propane or if you had a real proper evaporator. But it's just a nice day to be outside and uh, enjoy time with the kids, running around, enjoying the weather. And seeing as this is the last maple syrup day we're gonna have here, I, uh, I'm gonna make sure to just soak it in as best as I can. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep soaking in the days here on this property because we're not gonna be here too much longer. And uh, it's a special place, so. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for joining us for Maple Syrup Day. We're gonna take this inside in just a minute here, put it in a pot. We like to finish the maple syrup Inside, it's easier to keep an eye on. It's easy to ruin maple syrup, so keeping it in a pot over the stove is a better way to do it. If you want to learn how to make maple syrup, how to finish making it, we have a good video there. You can check that out.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to sign up to the email list if you don't want to miss any of our videos. Every Friday we send an email out to everyone on that list with all our videos. And uh, go ahead and subscribe.